If you have your Bibles, and you all can turn to your Bibles now, let's stand to our feet. Is it that we are in the house of God, we are in the house of God. I'm going to invite you to do the same. I'm going to invite those four attendees who are in church to, to come a little closer so I, I, I don't have to feel like I'm talking in thin air. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks. Just, just so I can at least make some eye contact. Uh, it helps me. So help me minister today, brothers and wife. <laughs> Joel chapter 1. Joel chapter 1. It's a very small book. I'm going to give you some time to find it. If you go to the book of Hosea, it's a prophetic book. It's called Joel, Yoel Nabhi Ki Kitab. It's a pehla bab. And we will read the 14th verse today. And then I want to share some things that God has for us for this moment. I tell you, this word is exactly about that. Exactly about what God is doing. And so as a church, we need this word, and God put it on my heart this week that we go through it. So if you have your Bibles, by now you should have found it. It's a very small, small book in the Old Testament. Purani Ahtama Me, Yoel Nabi Ki Kitab, Uska Pehla Bab. Let's read. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Bethuel, hear this, O elders, and listen, all inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this happened in your life? Has anything like this happened of the land? Has anything like this happened in your days or in your father's days? Tell your sons about it and let your sons tell their sons and their sons, the next generation, what the gnawing locust has done, the swarming locust has eaten, and the swarming, what the swarming locust has left the creeping locust has eaten and what the creeping locust has left the stripping locust has eaten awake drunkards and weep and wail for all the wine wail all you wine drinkers on account of the sweet wine that is cut from your mouth for a nation is invaded my land mighty and without number its teeth and the teeth its teeth are the teeth of a lion and it has fangs of a lioness. It has made my, 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 my vine a waste and my fig trees splinters. It has stripped them bare and cast them away. Their branches have become white. Whale like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the bridegroom of her youth. The grain offerings and the drink offerings are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn, the ministers of the Lord. The field is ruined, the land mourns, for the grain is ruined. The new wine dried up, fresh oils frail. Be ashamed, O farmers, wail, O wine dressers, for the wheat and the barley, because the harvest of the field is destroyed. The vine dried up and the fig trees fail, their pomegranates the palm also, and the trees, all the trees of the field dry up. Indeed, rejoicing dry from the sons of men. Gird yourselves with sackcloth and lament, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of God, for the grain offering and the drink offering are withheld from the house of the Lord God. Starvation. And drought. Verse 14. Consecrate a fast. Proclaim a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and, and all the inhabitants of the land to the house of the Lord your God and cry out to the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, um, I know that you have been speaking not just to me, but to your ministers throughout. And we know that nothing happens on this earth, Lord, without your knowing. And we know even what is happening now as thousands and thousands are dying, my God. It's not that you have turned a blind eye to it. You know 
what it is. You know the end from the beginning, my God. You have put it in your word exactly what it is that you are going to do and allow to happen. Stir our heart. Bring us close to you. And let us hear the sweet whisper of the Holy Spirit who's preparing us for what is to come. Be with me now also. In my weakness, let your strength be perfected. Help so that not I, but you are speaking to your people. For it is in Christ's name. Amen. And so let me begin once again by thanking everyone who is joining us online. And I want to ask you, to please read ahead. It's three small chapters, uh, but it is loaded with what God has for us today. It's a very small book. And uh, it's a very timely book. Ye kitab to bohat choti hai, teen iske baap hai. Lekin, it's very timely for what is happening through this. In chapter 1 and verse 2, the Lord projects a question to the elders asking, Have you or have your fathers experienced anything like this? Pehle baap ki dousri ayat mein, khudawan ke bande ko khudawan ye sawal karta hai. कि क्या तूने या तेरे बाप दादा ने या उसके बाप दादा ने कभी भी ये चीजें देखी हैं जो इस वक्त हो रही हैं एंड दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर अस एज वेल हैज एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट हैपन बिफोर आई एम प्रॉब्ली इन माय मिडिल एज लेकिन आई हैव स्पोकन टू मेनी हु आर वेल इन देयर एज or folks who are well in their 80s or, or late 70s, they're saying, we have never seen anything like this. Na humne apni umr mein, na apne baap dada ki umr mein, ye jo halat ho rahe hain, dekhe hain. And this is how the prophet opens the text. Khudawind, jab apne nabhi se baat kar rahe hain, he speaks to him with this question, and I echo this question to those who are hearing this even now. Have we ever experienced anything like what is happening today? There are many reports out there suggesting that this is similar to the swine flu or SARS, other similar strands of virus, but however, nothing has had a magnitude that we have witnessed as such. This COVID-19 has brought a threat not only to our health, jo dusre plagues aaye, dusre viruses aaye, dusri bimariyan aaye, they impacted only our health, the health of mankind. However, this is taking its toll on the economy globally as well. Never have we seen a double whammy such as this, where people have literally lost all of their life savings in just a few weeks in the market. Never in our life have we experienced a shortage of any sort, especially those who are living in North America. Hum jo North America mein rehte hain, America mein, Canada mein, ya aise mulko mein, jo Western dunya jisko ka rata hai, kabhi bhi ye hamari zindagi mein nahi hua ke hume kisi cheez ki kami ho. There was never a limitation of how much food you can have, of how much things you can have. But for the very first time in the last few weeks, we are beginning to be introduced to a world or a norm that we have no idea how to deal with. Ye pehli dafa is tarha ki bimari aai hai jis ne siraf hume jismani taur par hi nahi daraya but it has scared our economy as well. And along with this, that experience, both our health and our economy went into a crisis. Now you're probably saying, why is our pastor not giving us a motivation or an encouragement sermon today? Aap shayad ye soch rahe hain ke pura hafta paisa hum apne gharon mein the aur hum aaj ka intezar kar rahe the ke aap aayenge aur hume koi aisa motivational sermon denge taaki ek aur hafta jo hum apne gharon mein hain we can survive with that word. We have the internet already scaring us. Why are you scaring us? Why are you stirring up or causing a panic? And loved one, that is not my intent. Nor is that what the Spirit has put in my heart. But please know something. That nothing, 
Nothing happens on this earth without God's approval. Jab tak khudamand kisi cheez ki approval nahi deta, ijazat nahi deta, yahan tak nahi ho sakti. Koi bhi cheez zameen par khudamand ki ijazat ke bagair nahi ho sakti. Agar hum kahin, this virus has come because of the devil. Even the devil needs permission from God. That is just to say, permission ki hai, you are not in charge. And so the devil needed permission to attack Job. Jab bhi shaitan ne bhi koi hamla kiya hai, khudawan ke logon par, he needs God's permission. And so nothing on this earth happens without God's permission. Khudawan ki marzi, khudawan ki ijazat ke bagair, koi bhi cheez is dunya mein nahi hoti. Everything is subject to him. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 1, Ecclesiastes, Tisra Bab, Peliyai, the word of God says, there is an appointed time for everything. Har cheez ka ek vakt hai. Jis daur se hum guzar rahe hain, khudaman ki nazar mein iska vakt tha. Jis bimariyo mein se hum guzar rahe hain, in sight of God, there was a time for this. For the crisis we are going in, in sight of God, this was the time for it. And there is a time for every event under heaven. Asman ke niche, har ek cheez ka ek mukarrar vakt hai. One thing I want to get us thinking on is this. That God has the intent. What is God's intent for allowing this virus to spread? Please, let's think through this. Is cheese ko sochiye ke khudawan ke ka iske piche kya maksad ho sakta hai ke wo is coronavirus ko, COVID 19 ko palne de raha hai. What's God's purpose in this? That he is allowing the economy to collapse in such a way. God must have a purpose, don't you think? God has an intent on why the global economy is in turmoil. And so what is God's intent? And as people of God, we need not to be people who are focused on hearing how high the death tolls are, or how low the economy has dropped, we need to be a people who are doing everything we can to listen to the voice of God. We need to get ourselves to tune our ears to hear what God is saying through this chaos. So let's go to the book of Joel. It's a small book, three chapters. And so again, take the time to read it and allow this Holy Spirit to speak to you. The entire book, there's one theme. Stay close. I'm going to load you up with information that God's dropped in my spirit this week. There's one theme, and that is the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Khudavan ke aane ka din. The day of the Lord. Chapter 1 verse 15. Chapter 2 verse 1. And then verse 11. Chapter 2 verse 31. Chapter 3 verse 14. Paanch dafa. The day of the Lord is near. The day of the Lord this will happen. The day of the Lord has come. The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Now the day. It's very interesting. Because unlike the other books of the prophet. It mentions no time frame. It mentions no king's name. It just tells us that there's this man named Joel standing on the mountain, looking at the locust, destroying the field. And behind the locust, he sees that the day of the Lord is approaching. Sorry, yeah, any of those. You, you look at the book of Isaiah, you look at the book of Jeremiah. Jitne bhi ye prophets the, ye hume batate the ke is badshah ki sultanat ke duran ye ye hua. But when you go to the book of Joel, jab aap Joel nabi ki kitab mein jate hain, there's no time frame given. 
All it tells you is that there's a man standing on a mountain. Ek shaks hai, ek admi hai, jo pahar par khada hai, aur wo dek raha hai ke tidiyan jo hain, wo fasal ko tabah kar rahi hai. And behind that imagery, he sees the day of the Lord approaching. The day of the Lord is behind all of these millions of locusts that he sees before him. The book is laying out in three chapters a build up towards the day of the Lord. In teen baap ko jab aap study karenge to aap dekhte hain ke ye sab teen baap jo hain ye ek hi direction mein ja rahe hain ke khudaavand ki aamad aa rahi hai khudaavand wapas aa raha hai it is all pointing to this one truth that God's coming is more and more near and the more and more now we see that Bible teachers, theologians, scholars hold to this truth that the day of the Lord, the return of Christ, is getting closer and closer. Masihio, mere behno bhaiyo, Khudaamind Yesu Masih ka wapas ana. It is more closer now than it has ever been. It has never been this clear of how close the coming of the Messiah is, the return of the Messiah is, than this time now. What is the day of the Lord? I'm just going to talk about it very briefly because I want to stay right in chapter 1. The day of the Lord is when God is going to interrupt human history. He's going to just intervene. He's going to step right into what we call our norm. You and I might understand that things cannot continue to be the way they are. Ek cheez jo humne apne dilon mein, apne zehno mein bithani hai, wo ye hai. Things cannot continue the way they are. Jis tarah cheezen chal rahi hai, God can't allow that to continue to happen. Jis tarah dunia apne hi kamo mein badhti ja rahi hai, God cannot continue to allow that to happen. Church is going to be taken up. I'm talking about what is the day of the Lord. It's going to begin. The day of the Lord will begin. Khudavant ka din tab shuru hoga. It's a time frame. It's not one event. It's a, a multitude of events that are referred to as the day of the Lord. Ye bohati events ko milakar ek ek ghadi hai jisko hum the day of the Lord kehte hain. It starts jab Khudavant yasu ki kalisiya jo hai when the church is going to be raptured. When the church is going to be raptured, God will intervene and interrupt human history. Please imagine how that day will be. How will that day be? Two people are going to be working together and one is going to be gone. Two people are going to be sitting together and one is going to be gone. Two or three are going to be together. You're, could you imagine what the world is going to look like when the day of the Lord comes? Imagine your everyday life. Somebody's going with God. Or... Praise be to God. That's the day of the Lord. That's when God is going to step into. He's going to step into. He's going to intervene into human history. God will step into human history and begin working with the nation of Israel. I'm just giving you a brief survey of what that day of the Lord, the beginning of that's going to look like. <laughs> God's going to step into history. He's going to begin working with Israel. And so will begin. Remember, the church is gone. God is working on Israel. And tribulation ka waqt hai, wo shuru ho jayega. The great pains, jo badi aafte hain. And then, God is going to return in the millennial reign. Ye sab cheezen jo hain, this is the day of the Lord. And then, we're going to see God's great white throne judgment. That's when God is going to step into human history. We cannot think that, think that things will continue to roll the way they are. I just need to stop and, and, and tell this to you, church. Aap please mat ye samjye ke jaisi hamari zindagi thi, ab waisi hi chalti jayegi. I said this last week, I'm saying this again. Things are never going to be the same. Over and over, God's putting that in the hearts of His people. Things are never going to be the same. And we are so fixed in that life. 
that we think it's going to go back to that. And God's word is saying, no, that's not. The delay of the Lord will come. The day of the Lord will come. It's happening. Whether we are ready or not is besides the point. But God said, He's coming, so He's coming. This must be our witness that the day of the Lord will happen. We need to be more and more alert of what is happening around us to get to this place. The world, will, the world will not continue the way it is. And no reason we should think that either. So let's get started in the Word of God. Verse 4. Pahla ba chauthi ay. If I could just help you understand how this outline looks. All right, I'll do it. Three chapters. Pahla ba, dusra ba, tisra ba. The very last chapter is the actual return of God in His glory. Jab, the day of the Lord will happen or begin. Chapter 2 is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit But chapter 1 is a series of plagues that God's Word tells us about. Now let's put our senses together and let's think through that. We're in chapter 1 right now. And I pray that as we go through this, through these verses, the, the scripture will just jump alive at you. Let's go now. <laughs> what the gawning locust, four locusts, right? What the gawning lo locust has left, the swarming locust will eat. What the swarming locust has left, the creeping locust will eat. And what the creeping locust has left, the stripping locust will eat. Joel starts and begins to write this prophecy almost springboarding off of a series of plagues. Jab Yoel Nabi is Nabuat ko likna shuru karta hai, he starts off by saying, ki tarah tarah ki bimariya aane wali hai. There are going to be series of plagues that are coming our way. As we look into it, we see that it begins with a series of plagues. And now, See these words in love zone for God Kijie. The gawning locusts, the swarming locusts, the creeping locusts, and what those have eaten and left behind. In other words, this is a progression of plagues. This is a progression of plagues. No, what the prophet is trying to put on pen is this. This is a continual progression of things going from worse to worse to worse. That's what the Word of God is saying. So after the series of the first play goes, the second will come. And in order, and this will continue, loved ones. I want to tell you, church, now, things are only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. There's no reset of this. Even if you think of the different flus that come every year, har sal, har sal, every year we are told, well, this year the flu is going to be worse than last year. Is the flu had just come at the barani someday, but it's a plague. It's going to be worse than last year. And that's exactly what Joel is saying. Joel Nabibi Yehi Kehraha hai. That the first plague will leave and the second plague will come. And it will continue from there. If you just did some study, Agarab Thodi si study kare, we learned that there are 24 different kinds of locusts all over the world. 24,000 different kind of locusts. Some small and some as big as 8 inches. In 1913, I just want to talk to you about how these, these, ye jo hain, inka kyun istamal ho raha hai. So we all on the same page. You know, I'm full. I, I don't know if, if, if you all can stay with me this long, but I got to get this message out today. In 1930, we read, 1913, we read that there were so many locusts that it covered the entire sun. 
इतनी ज्यादा टिडियां थी लोकस था कि पूरा जो सूरज है पूरा आसमान जो है इट वॉज खबर शुक्र है कि एक हवा आई देर वॉज अ विंड स्टोर्म इट पुश्ड ऑल ऑफ द लोकस इन टू दिन दे ड्राइड अप दे डाइड बिकॉज दे ड्राउंड और फिर पानी उनको बाहर ले आया एंड वेन दे खेम आउट We read in history, तारीख ये बताती है कि वो चार फुट ऊंची दीवार बन गए और पचास मील दूर तक वो चीज थी अ टोरल ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट फोर फीट स्टैक हाई एंड फिफ्टी माइल्स लेट्स ब्रिंग दैट टू द करेंट लेट्स गेट अ लिटल फेमिलियर टाइम फ्रेम इन इट इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू द इंडियन आर्मी दे सॉ ऑन देर रेड आर that there was a multitude of 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 locusts moving towards them pehle tareekh mein kaisa nahi hua lekin is dafa they called pakistan and they said hey listen there's a there's there's the swarm of locusts coming our way can you help and they said absolutely we can help so dono fauj ne mil kar ye cheez ki ke they took their fighter jets into the air usko fill kiya with 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 some form of spray and they sprayed the locust down a totaling of 100 billion locust in just 1962 that had to be cleaned up so the locust will keep coming bimarians will keep coming in current news we are reading about the locust in the continent of africa aaj kal bhi अगर हम थोड़ा सा अपना चैनल चेंज करें और कोरोना वायरस और चाइना और दूसरे मुल्कों से दूर होकर देखें लुक एट वट इज हैपनिंग इन सऊदी अरेबिया लुक एट वट इज हैपनिंग इन एफ्रीका द लोकस आर कमिंग कंटिन्यूअली एंड जस्ट एज जॉयल सॉ द लोकस कमिंग बिहाइंड इट ही सॉ द डे ऑफ द लोड अप्रोचिंग एंड इवन सो फॉर अस एज वी आर सींग दीज प्लेग्स as we're seeing the locust coming we should not take that lightly church we should know that the day of the lord is right behind it god's word is telling us that these plagues will keep coming continually their progression will keep happen continually remember ye plagues ye bimariyan jo hain ye aati rahengi kyun kyunki ye sab nishan de rahi hain ke yesu ka din करीब हो रहा है वर्स फाइव एंड एट वर्स फाइव थ्रू एट अवेक ड्रंकर्ड एंड वीप एंड वेल ऑल यू वाइन ड्रिंकर्स ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द स्वीट वाइन दैट इज कट ऑफ फ्रॉम योर माउथ फॉर अ नेशन हैज इनवेडेड माई लैंड माइडी एंड विदाउट नंबर इट्स टीथ और द टीथ ऑफ a lion and it has fangs of a lioness it has made my 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 vine a waste and my fig trees splinters it has stripped them bare and cast them away their branches have become white well like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the bridegroom of her youth the word nations here is actually referring to the plagues ये जो लफज इस्तेमाल हुए ना पांचवी आयत में छठी आयत में फॉर अ नेशन हैज इनवेडेड माय लैंड इट्स अ प्रोफेटिक वर्ड इट इज ए इट इज पोएटिक आल्सो क्योंकि अगली आयत में ही बताता है कि ये इंसानों की इन्वेजन की बात नहीं हो रही ये बीमारियों की इन्वेजन की बात हो रही है एंड गॉड इज सेइंग द लिसन प्लेग आफ्टर प्लेग आफ्टर प्लेग इज कमिंग दे आर कमिंग Proverbs 30 25 and 26 refers to ants as peoples and powers jab aap imsal aur imsal uska 30th chapter 25th 26th mein dekhte hain wo wo jo keediyan hai na unko log ke lafaz se istemal uh, uh, describe kiya jata hai they are described as powers ke ke that these are powers and joel is writing a prophetic word from god saying that these plagues have invaded my land that these plagues have come ye nations jo hain locust was the emblem of the chaldeans who came up from babylon and so the bible refers to both the invasion that came from the people through the plague and it refers to the invasion of babylon what's striking is this 
जो सोचने की बात है जस्ट लुक राइट एट मी ना वन टॉक टू यू वर्स फाइव इट सेज अवेक ड्रंकर्ड एंड वीप एंड वेल ऑ यू ड्रंकर्ड खुदावन कह रहे हैं कि मेरे ताकिस्तान तबाह हो रहा है और तुम नशे में दुत खोकर सोए हुए हो माई द इमेजरी हियर इज अ फादर्स प्ली इट्स लाइक अ फादर टॉकिंग टू यू जस्ट इमेजिन कीजिए क्योंकि ये एग्रीकल्चर की बात हो रही है This is talking about an agricultural setting. So ek baap hai jiska Pakistan hai he has a vineyard. It's described in it. It says my fig trees have become splinters. My vineyard has been destroyed by these plagues. And what are you doing? You are drinking and sleeping. Mera Pakistan bimariyan tabah karti jo ja rahi hai. और मेरे लोग जो हैं वो सोए हुए हैं नशे में धुन है दे आर कंज्यूम्ड विद जस्ट वाइन दे आर ड्रंक माय माय पीपल आर बीइंग डिस्ट्रॉयड माय मेरा पाकिस्तान तबाह हो रहा है और तुम अपने नशे में मसरूफ हो दैट्स व्हाट गॉड्स हार्ट इज हियर दिस इज व्हाट गॉड इज सेइंग दैट माय नेशन इज इनवेडेड मेरे लोगों के ऊपर हमले पे हमला हुआ जा रहा है plague after plague after plague is coming ek bimari ke baad dusri aur dusri ke baad teesri and we normalize it and we don't come before him kyunki hum us mard ki tarah we just allow ourselves to be drunk and fall asleep and god is saying awake drunkard and weep utho ro matam kar and well all you drinkers what's happening is the same in our society आज के दौर में भी एग्जैक्टली यही हो रहा है इट्स द सेम थिंग हैपनिंग नाउ देर इज अ प्लेग आउट देयर किलिंग थाउजेंड्स अपॉन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल ग्लोबली आज के वक्त में भी देर इज अ वायरस आउट देयर एक बीमारी है जो खानदानों से उनके बाप छीन रही है खानदानों से उसकी माए छीन रही हैं माँ बाप से अपने बच्चे छीन रहे हैं और दुनिया मसरूफ है नशे में वी आर इट ब्रोक माई हार्ट दैट इन स्टेड ऑफ ग्रोसरीज पीपल वर सेंग इट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आई गेट माई लेकर पीपल वर गोइंग आउट एंड देर वॉज जस्ट एज मेनी टॉयलेट पेपर सोल्ड एज देर वर लेकर सोल्ड बिकॉज द वर्ल्ड इज फॉर गेटिंग including you and i the church we're forgetting that out there is a plague that is killing people just like god told us through the prophet joel ke ek bimari pe bimari aakar mere pakistan ko tabah kar ya yaar tum log soye hue aur nasha karke but the feeder laga ke dhun hue hue you are just drunkards you are sucking on wine all the meanwhile people are dying people are losing their lives their livelihood their families and the only thing that you could think of is more liquor for your cabinets and closets god is speaking to us today church khuda mand humse aaj kalam kar raha hai where is our focus because we think things are going back to normal hum is cheez mein lage hue hain but behind the series of plagues is the day the glorious day of our savior's return in sab tabahiyon ke peeche wo din hai jo aata ja raha hai jo khudaavand ka din hai and god is saying listen the vineyard is destroyed and you are just sucking on liquor my vineyard is destroyed aaj bhi yahi ho raha hai But let me stop there. The drunkardness is not just on wine. Nasha sirf maa ka nahi hota. Nasha sirf maa ka nahi hota. And maybe you stop there and you're like, I don't got no liquor in my house. I'm kind of out of this picture. God's not really speaking to me. No, 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 no. Tarantana ke nashay. Kanyon ko 
they just need a gathering. Kisi kahi ke liye gathering ek nasha hai. Gathering karke chhodni hai. Gathering karke chhodni hai. We're so, such social bugs that we just have to, have to, have to meet. Aur ye hamari zindgi ka nasha ban gaya hua. For some, it's electronics, one after the other, after the other, after the other. God is saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mera Pakistan tabah ho raha hai, aur tumhe Netflix ki padi hui hai, yaar. Mera Pakistan tabah ho raha hai, tumhe next social media ki padi hui hai. Ek aur nasha jo hai, it's the self-promoting nasha. Apne aap ko promote karne ka nasha. And you go on any of these medias and people, Main to ye kar raha hon, main to ye kar raha hon. Apni tasveerein hum inki help kar rahe hain. Hum unki help kar rahe hain. And then condemning others. All that is, is an intoxication. And God is saying, listen my church. Meri kalisya son. Ke mera taqistan tabah ho raha hai. Aur tum apne nasho mein lage hoi. My, my, my. My world, they have invaded my land. Ek baap tute dil se keh raha hai. He can't, imagine. Ke aap ghar mein aapka beta soya hua hai. Aapne itni mehnat karke, itni mohabbat se is jagha ko banaya. You have fixed for them a beautiful home. You have fixed for them a beautiful vineyard. You have done all you can as a father. And you come home, aap ghar aate hain. Or the son is just laying there drunk a waste. How much will that break your heart? And that is the heart of a broken father saying, Wake up, you drunk. Where's your priority? My, my people are being invaded. People are being stripped of their livelihoods. And we're so disconnected. Logon ka sab kuch lutta ja raha hai. Handan tootte ja rahe hai. Logon ka janaze hote ja rahe hai. We just go, hmm, hmm, it's bad. Yeah, bad government. Our hearts should be broken. Our hearts should be broken. Verse 9 through 13. Now I'm about to hear The grain offering and the drink offering are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn the ministers of the Lord. Please note, in the book of Joel, that is written thousands and thousands of years ago, Khudawan ka kalam keh raha hai ke ek vakt aa raha hai ke churches band honge. Right there, verse 13, saying the grain offering and the drink offering, they're not being offered up in the house of the Lord. This is a while ago. Ye koi recent discovery, this was in the book of Joel thousands of years ago. Khudawan ke ghar mein ye, 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 do, ye kurbaniya nahi chal rahi Through Throughout the entire world Church buildings are closed You set up America, Pakistan Bagaira, bagaira mein nahi This is happening globally And it should break our hearts Humare dil toot ne chahi Ke khudawan ke ghar mein kurbaniya nahi chal raha I'm going to get into the kurbanis in just a bit the Bible says, mourn priest of God. Jo hadam hai, unko hudaman keh raha ke, ro, matam manao. Matam manao. In the book of Peter, sab masihiyon ko kahin bulaya gaya hai. Ke hum kahin hai. We are all the priests. So when you read this verse and it says, priest mourn. اے خداون کے کاہنوں ماتم کرو یہ صرف پادریوں کے لیے نہیں یہ ہر ایک مسیحی کے لیے ہے کیونکہ ہر ایک مسیحی کاہن ہے اور کلام میں لکھا ہے the churches are closing people of God you should be mourning now we thank God for technology and being able to get this word in online however there was never the intent of God's church شکر کرتے ہیں خداون کا کہ آج آپ مجھے ویا یوٹیوب یا فیس بک جہاں پر بھی آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں اور خداون کا کلام آپ کو مل رہا ہے لیکن یہ خداون کا کبھی مقصد نہیں تھا اپنی کلیسیا کے لیے 
कि वो कठी ना हो बहुत हैं जो रसूलों के माल उसके साथ में बाब में जाते हैं वन स्टीफन is speaking to the the sanhedrin the sanhedrin saying the most high does not dwell in houses made by hand and that is true bahut hain jo stiffness ke us us hisse mein jaate hain rasoolon ke maal mein jahan pe stiffness ne kaha ke khudaavan jo hai wo haathon se banayi hui gharon mein nahi rehta aur ye sach hai god does not dwell in houses that are made by hand but he is talking to a group of people who only understood that वो उन फ्रीसियों से फकीयों से बात कर रहा था जिनका खुदावंत के साथ जो ताल्लुक था वो नाता जो था वो सिर्फ इसलिए था क्योंकि वो हैकल में जा सकते थे बट आफ्टर वी गेट द होली स्पिरिट डेलिंग इन एस जब खुदावंत का पाकरू हमारे अंदर आकर रहना शुरू कर देता है हर कोई मसीही जिसके अंदर खुदावन का रूह है उसके दिल में तड़प है कि दूसरे मसीहियों के साथ मिलकर इबादत करे इट्स द वे गॉड हैज डिजाइंड इट वी आर रिमाइंडेड दैट देर वाज अ ग्रेट सेंस ऑफ डेस्परेशन इन पॉल्स लाइफ to go and to be gathered with the church in Thessalonica agar hum paulus rasul ka hath thessalonikiyo ke naam padhe kalam mein likha hai ki main sab cheeze bardasht karta hu paulus rasul ne kaha hai main har cheez bardasht karta hu siwaye iske ki main tumhare saath nahi paul had a great sense of desperation to be with the people in rome bar bar rasulon ke amal mein hum padhte hain ki wo ek dusre ka intezar karte the unke dilon mein tadap hoti thi ki hum milkar khudaavan ki ibadat kare the early church had the spirit inside of them god dwelt in their hearts yet they were burning with a desire to be with one another to worship god together to to be in corporate worship please don't substitute one for another ye mat kahiye ke khudaavan to haath ke banaye hue cheezon mein nahi rehta lihaza hum ikalle ikatthe hi na hi ho to acha hai that's not god's intent god does not reside in houses made with hand but he resides in us and if he resides in us then a true believer will have a longing to be in fellowship with other true believers note that in this prophecy jab is hisse mein aap aate hain there's nothing about the burnt offering or the offering of atonement jo do qurbaniyan ka zikr hua hai wo kafare ki qurbani ka nahi ho raha that means ke hum jo jis waqt mein reh rahe hain see how it lines up perfectly ab jab yohel tha to kafare ki qurbaniyan hoti thi lekin usne kyun nahi likha kafare ki qurbani because jesus is our atonement he talked about two sacrifices pay close attention first the grain offering the grain offering the grain offering ye wo qurbani hoti thi jo beej ki jo dane ki qurbani hoti thi jab insaan ki jo jo fasal jab hoti thi when the harvest came people will bring that to god they would lay it before him aur uska aroma jo hai uski mehak jo hai wo khudaavan ke nathron tak pahunchti thi the first offering was the offering of thanksgiving and provision and the second offering was the poured offering khudaavan keh rahe hain ki na beej ki qurbani mere mere ghar mein ho rahi hai matlab ki prastish mere ghar mein nahi ho rahi aur dusri ke the poured out and that is when we commune and we have celebr- we celebrate yesu ne kaha this is my blood that is being poured out for you aur hum uske lahu ke liye uska shukr karte hain this is speaking of a church the prophecies of the church and so god is saying listen the churches are not meeting you should be mourning you should be mourning it's heartbreaking jo dil ko todne wali cheez hai wo ye hai that for many believers the fact that churches are closed made no difference to them made no difference to them jo jo dukh wali baat hai wo ye hai ki masihi jo kehte hain hum masihi hain unko koi farak nahi pada कि अब इबादत घर इबादत घरों में इबादतें नहीं हो रही दे डिट लूज अ सिंगल बीट ऑफ देयर लाइफ 
वो समझ रहे हैं कि चर्च की छुट्टी चल रही है चर्च की छुट्टी नहीं चल रही ये खुदावन का कलाम कह रहा है खुदावन की आवाज कह रही है The churches are closing. We should be mourning. खुदावन के हजूर में हमें गिड़गिड़ाना चाहिए मातम करना चाहिए You're like, well, you like going to church, Pastor Ezra, because you're the pastor. Yeah, but every believer in the New Testament wanted to be in church. They wanted to be with other believers. They wanted to come and worship God together. वो आकर और खुदावंत के हजूर शुक्रगुजारी करना चाहते थे. उनके दिलों में तड़प होती थी कि उस लहू को अपने ऊपर, अपने घरों के ऊपर मांगते रहें. और आज कलीसियाएं बंद हैं और किसी को फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा. Especially those who are calling themselves Christians. People are so busy. Oh, I'll watch it. On a rerun, I'll watch it on my convenience. Our hearts should be broken that we're not able to gather. We should have broken hearts that we can't send up praises to God, offerings to God for His permission. हमारा दिल टूटना चाहिए कि हम खुदावन के घर में आकर उसका शुक्र नहीं कर सकते। दिल टूटना चाहिए। एक एक हादम का एक काहिन का दिल टूटना चाहिए क्योंकि हम बने ही उस मकसद के लिए। We are made to give praises to God। हमारा बनाना उसका ये मकसद है कि मेरे लोग इबादत करें मेरी और जब हम it's out of our norm, it should it should bother us church। हमें इससे कुछ फर्क पड़ना चाहिए। Yes, yes, I thank God for technology, but my heart breaks that I can't see you, that I can't worship with you, that I can't bless you before you leave. That I can't pray for you at that door for whatever you're struggling. My heart breaks and so should it break ours. Because we are the Lord's Messenger. We can't We can't send up an offering to God to thank Him for provision. That our homes are filled with fridges. और हम खुदावंत का शुक्र नहीं कर पाते मिलकर हमें से एक भी शख्स नहीं जिसको ये बीमारी ने छुआ है और हम मिलकर शुक्रगुजारी नहीं कर पाते गॉड इज सेइंग यू शुड मोर यू कैन मीट इन चर्च व्हाई आर यू टेकिंग इट सो लाइटली आप इसको क्यों नॉर्मलाइज करते जा रहे हैं आपको ये क्यों नहीं फर्क हो रहा it's breaking God's heart. Why is it not bothering us? Why are we just going about our day like nothing happened? Something happened, church. People are dying. Khudawan ka Pakistan tama ho raha hai. Aur hum apne nasho mein lage hoi. Hum apni mein mein lage hoi hai. Khudawan ke ghar bande hai. Log mil kar ibadat nahi kar sakte. And we are okay with that. We should not be okay with that. Priests mourn. Kahino. Matam karo. Servants. Khudawan ki hadamo. Ro. Weep. Even as the psalmist writes. Zabur Nafis bhi likhta hai. These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God. Janda san karnu khuda de jado mein toliya na shukar de gaon anda sa geet tadon hoke nehal how I long to be in your house, O oh God. Tear me eyes. What can we do? Hum kya kar sakte hain, Pai Saab? Hum kya kar sakte hain? Government ne ban kiya hai. Hum kya kar sakte hain? Tear me eyes. Gird yourselves with sackcloth. 
lament, O priest. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth. O ministers of God, for the grain offering and the drink offering are withheld from the house of God. रातों को मातम से ताट अपने ऊपर लो यू नो द बाइबल से द प्रीवियस वर्स कि जिस तरह एक कमवारी अपने शौहर के लिए रोती है नो मेनी पीपल आर नॉट नॉट एबल टू टू बी मैरिड बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हाट्स हैपेंड बट लुक एट दैट इमेजरी दे गॉट मैरिड get the anger but weep like like you're married but you're still a virgin you couldn't be with your spouse god is saying gird yourself with sackcloth lament ro khudawand ke upar hum kya kar sakte hain hum khudawand ke samne jhuk sakte hain hum khudawand ke samne ro sakte hain hum khudawand ke huzur raaton par baith sakte hain कि खुदावंद इस चीज के लिए हम तेरे सामने हैं तेरे खुदावंद घरों के दरवाजे बंद हैं वे सिटिंग बिफोर यू ओ गॉड फॉर देम टू स्टॉप इट ऑल ऑफ दिस दिस गिविंग ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स दैट डोंट नीड टू बी गिवन हर तरफ आप देख रहे हैं सोशल मीडिया पे कवर योर सेल्फ अंडर ज़बूर 91 डू यू नो व्हाट दिस सेज इट सेज those who dwell in the secret place of god it's not just talking about visitors wo jo khudaawand ke jagah par har waqt ruke rehte hain they are covered under the wings of god what can we do we can come before in repentance hum khudaawand ke huzur tauba karke uske samne aa sakte hain last week i told my wife my parents that i was not going to be accessible for the next day because I literally went into a lockdown. Pura din I locked myself in a room. I really needed to get before God. Mere dil mein ye bojh tha aur bar bar andar se khudaon ka roo keh raha tha just come a while with me. Mere saath kuch baith waqt baith kuch waqt baith and over that course of the day the one word God kept saying to me was tell my people to repent. Mere logon ko keh ke toba kar. Mere logon se keh Okay, it's all about God. That's all I got. But we got to repent. We got to repent. In in four to six weeks, <clears throat> when everything starts to become normalized, and we have no significant impact as believers, then we miss the point that God was trying to give to us. I talked to you about the prophecies. leading up to the day of the lord agar 6 mahine pehle main aap se kehta that there's going to be tribulations nobody would have heard me 6 mahine mein aap se kehta ki khanon par shortage hogi no one was going to listen 6 months ago if i said the economy is going to collapse and we're going to have nowhere to turn and you're going to nobody would have heard me But these are the plagues that are going to continue to come. We need to come to a place of repentance. We got to. We we can't walk in two boats anymore. आज के बाद हम दो कश्तियों में कैसे चल सकते हैं? We can't walk in two boats. We can't say we're so concerned about the church. We're so concerned and 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 have it not break our heart when the doors are shut. We can't say that we're part of God's family. हम खुदावन के उस ताकिस्तान का हिस्सा हैं, but we're still consumed in some form of intoxication. They just don't go according to God's voice. खुदावन का कलाम इस चीज के बारे में agreement में नहीं है. And so today, I want to call you, every one of you. आने वाले हफ्ते में आई गोइंग टू सेंड अ मैसेज आउट दैट वी ऑल एज अ चर्च गोइंग टू फास्ट इफ फॉर वटेवर रीजन कोई बीमारी की वजह से या कुछ भी है आप एक दिन एक दिन नहीं रोजा रख सकते दैट्स फाइन बट एज अ चर्च वी विल कम बिफोर गॉड दैट गॉड ओपन द डोर्स ऑफ योर चर्च अगेन गॉड रिमूव अस फ्रॉम दिस 
this plague that we are in. Khudaun tera Pakistan tabah ho raha hai. I'm not going to just be okay with it. Khudaun, your fig tree is becoming splinters. Your 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 olive tree, all of your beautiful blessings, they're all being destroyed. I'm not just going to sit back and and just consume myself in in, in whatever talk. To, I, I'm not going to do that, God. I'm going to I'm going to come before you. I am going to make it bother me because it's bothering you, God. Let's stand a while and pray. Can we? Aye, sab. Khudaun ke huzur kuch lama dua karein. Ab jahan par bhi hain is waqt apne ghar mein, ab living room mein, bedroom mein, jahan par bhi hain kuch waqt ke liye. Agar ab gutne nishin ho sakte hain, to please ho jaiye. Go on your knees, church. Aye, ham sab apne gutnon par aye. Let's come on our knees before God. Khudaun ke huzur apne gutnon par ham jukein. Come before God on your knees. Come before God on your knees. Fazalina Aira Baksh Guna Sab Me Re Vangu Fazal Rahem Kar Church, wherever you are, Ab Jahan Kahim Pad Bihan, young and old. اپنے بچوں کو اس وقت روکیں اور جو جس جگہ پر بھی ہے جس پاس لیٹس کم آن آر نیز فار اوائل بیفور گاڈ کچھ لمحہ خداون کے حضور اپنے گھٹنوں پر آئیں کلام میں لکھا ہے کہ ماتم کرو خداون کہہ رہا ہے کہ میرا پاکستان تباہ ہو رہا ہے ویپ بیفور می میرے آن گھر بند ہے کوئی قربانیاں نہیں ہو رہی آتم کرو کم چرچ لیس کم بیفور گاڈ ان سیف فادر فرگیو اس تانتوں اپنی گرس سچا ہو ہر حال کرتے 
ہے باپ ہم توبہ کرتے ہیں Oh, we repent as a family. We repent as a church, my God. We repent before you, oh God. As the plagues are destroying your land, as they have invaded. Lord, we stayed back and we're just consumed in our own things. We were just taken by our own things, our own, on our own busyness or on things that really just drove us. Our plannings and our, our socializing and our networking and our consumption of whatever it is, God, we allowed ourselves to be so lost in that and forgot that your heart is breaking for everyone who's died. That people are losing loved ones and all we're worried about is just the next thing that feeds our our addiction we repent my god is swak khudaun hamare dilon ko khudaun tod hamare dilon ko khudaun tod ke jab ghar ghar mein matam ho rahe hain hum apne gharon mein kaise khush rahe jab bacche apne maa baap ko kho rahe hain jab naujawan ladke ladki hum mar rahe hain khudaun is اس آفت سے ہم اپنے نشروں میں کیسے کھو گئے ہم اپنی بزینس کو کیسے آگے رکھ رہے تھے ہم کیوں خدا میں ان چیزوں میں اپنے آپ کو لے گئے جب تیرا دل ٹوٹ رہا فرگیو اس او گاڈ فرگیو اس فرگیو اس مائی گاڈ فرگیو اس مائی گاڈ فرگیو اس that we didn't lock ourselves in the room and began praying that our quarantine activities were everything else but prayer that we were not even stopping and realizing that the whole world around us is changing and we were just so lost in our own next thing forgive us my God doors were closing to a church where people were restored where people were blessed where the blood of the lamb was freeing us where we were in communion with you and with one another and it didn't break our heart but i was churches bond ho gaye aur hamara dil na toota hum ek dusre ko dekh na sake hum تیرے بیٹے بیٹیوں کو نہ دیکھ سکے اور ہمارا دل نہ ٹوٹا ہم اپنے بچوں کو تیرے گھر میں نہ لا سکے اور ہمارا دل نہ ٹوٹا وی کڈنٹ ورشپ ٹوگیدر اینڈ آر ہارٹس ڈیڈنٹ بریک فرگیو اس او گاڈ فرگیو می گاڈ فرگیو that we didn't lose a beat how is it that we carried on with life like nothing happened how did we just do that forgive us God forgive us my God forgive us
name we pray, my God, that the churches will be open. Hum dua karte hain, Baab. Ekklesiaon ke darwaze khule. Aapke bete aur betiyan mil kar parvish kare. Humare bache, humare boodhe mil kar ye sukhe naam ko uncha. खुदावंदम दुआ करते हैं कि ये वबा पीछे होती जाए नो मोर नो मोर नो मोर नो मोर नो मोर इन जीसस नेम नो मोर नो मोर लेट इट बी पुश्ड बैक इन जीसस नेम यसु के नाम से ये बबा पीछे हो पीछे होती जाए खुदावंत के बंदों को खुदावंत के पाकिस्तान को ये छू ना सके पीछे हो फादर वी विल नॉट फॉल अस्लीप कंज्यूम्ड इन आर ओन इंटॉक्सिकेशन ऑफ वट एवर फॉर्म वी विल स्टैंड वी विल बी बिफोर यू इन प्रेयर खुदावंत हमें हिम्मत और तफीक दे कलीसियाई तौर पर जाती तौर पर हम आने वाले दिनों में दुआ में बैठे दुआ में रुके और इस वबा से इस सारे पाकिस्तान की जान छुड़ाने वाले गॉड वी प्रे दैट मेक दिस वायरस लूस एन इस ग्रिप खुदावन हम आपके सामने बैठेंगे हम खुदावन दुआ में रुकेंगे ताकि इसकी ग्रिप आपके पाकिस्तान से छूटे यीशु के नाम से Church family, I, I'll continue to pray, and would you pray for us also? I miss you guys, and I know that very soon we're going to worship God together. Do me a favor, read through the rest of the book of Joel, and uh, let's keep praying for one another. God bless you.